That means the consequences that James mentioned are... Uh, for breach of this agreement, Emily. Emily could hardly believe what she was hearing. But, but I didn't even know about any of this. I know, Emily. All these years, I was kept in the dark. How could you do this to me, Grandpa? I am sorry, Emily. I never expected things to take such a dark turn. This pregnancy has made things more complicated than ever. So... What now? Now? Now we wait to see if your son loses his spot as heir. If Anna has a boy, you'll have to raise him because he'll be the one to inherit the company and all it's worth. That's atrocious! I'll never agree to that! What if... What if I refuse? What if I simply divorce James on my terms and leave the Taylors? Then you and your son will have to face different consequences. And I hope you'll never find out about them. But how is that fair, Grandpa? I didn't ask for any of this. Does no one care about my child except me? Life is never fair, Emily. You will do well to remember that. I'm tired, Emily. This old man needs to rest. Grandpa! You can't just leave me to that! I've said what I needed to say, Mrs. Taylor. This conversation is over now. <laughs> Fine. I better start packing then. Emily wasted no time gathering her belongings. She was waiting outside for the car when Liam came to talk to her. Poor Emily. <laughs> Already running away? Not everyone's an expert in mooching off family fortune, Liam. Marvelous! Claws are out already? Stop beating around the bush. I think you should heed Grandpa's words. <laughs> Another warning? Is that all you tailors are capable of? No, certainly not. You see, Emily, the only reason I'm being patient with your audacity is because you're bearing my brother's child. But my patience isn't limitless, unlike my authority. So you better play along. And if I don't? Then... <laughs> you're on your own, Emily. Liam grinned like a hound from hell and watched Emily get inside the car. After reaching home, Emily was setting down her bags when her phone pinged. A text message for Grandpa Taylor. Bags clattered to the floor, forgotten, as Emily focused on the messages. You can have your divorce. I can't believe Grandpa changed his mind. This morning he was insistent. What could have possibly... Wait, did I hear that right? Is there someone else in my house? The noises were coming from upstairs. Emily grabbed the candle holder from the table as she approached the stairwell. All right, all right. Emily, keep it together. Just keep it together. Stealing herself, she ascended the stairs and pushed open the balcony door. The sight that met her eyes was far from what she had anticipated. Emily? What the hell, James? I thought... I thought it was an intruder. Emily looked at the candelabra, still clutched in her hand, feeling suddenly absurd. And when did you start smoking again? Probably after realizing I got two women pregnant. That's not funny, James. James smiled again and put the packet back inside his pocket. Hmm. You're right. It's not. But sometimes we could use a laugh. We need to talk. About Grandpa's text? Will you feel a little relieved if I told you that I got one too? Emily wasn't expecting to hear this. Can Grandpa Taylor be any more unpredictable? What happened, James? Why the sudden change? A lot has changed, Em. Things are complicated. James drew a deep breath, his eyes fixed on the distant cityscape illuminated in the twilight. Emily, do you remember the stories my grandfather used to tell us? The ones about his wild younger days? Yeah, I remember. But those were all tales, right? They were. 
However, some truths were hidden within those tales. Both of our grandfathers were just wild, Emily. They were involved in some rather dark activities. What are you saying, James? They were in the mob, Emily. And so was your father. This is why your mother was the nurse assigned to Grandpa Taylor. It's why he has looked out for you all these years. Our families, our families are not what you think. We have a history, all this money, our power, our respect. It came from illegal deals with your family. A wave of nausea washed over Emily, her world tilting dangerously. You're... You're lying. It can't be. I wish I were, Em. Your father, my father, they did what they had to survive. They came to a mutual understanding. What mutual understanding? What the hell are you saying, James? Our marriage was a settlement pre-planned by our parents, Em. It was part of the deal. Tears rolled down Emily's eyes, her breath hitched in her chest. Our marriage was a... sham? James, you... Did you marry me because of some mob deal? Emily never expected to find herself in the same mud as the Taylors. What will she do now? Will she be able to accept that a criminal's blood is running through her veins? Hi, Emily here. Hope you are loving Sweet Little Lies. Keep following us as we release a new episode of Season 1 Daily on YouTube. You can jump the queue and unlock all seasons of the audio series by installing the Pocket FM app now. Just click on the link in the description. To watch the next episode of Season 1, tap here. And to watch the full Season 1, click on the playlist.